Okay, so at this point we probably are can say ready to to subdivide the model. So right now we can see that we have uh, a thirteen thousand polygons right now. That's the the density of the model. And of course, to actually do detail and sculpt and everything, we need to have the model higher density than this. So in order to do that we have an option here that's geometry you click that another thing I forgot to mention is that you have the sub tools here basically the sub tool is the dinosaur the actual model you can actually uh, make a duplicate of that if you if you wanted to let's say uh, probably if you wanted to have different stages perhaps you could do that actually let me just do that just for the fun of it let's uh, duplicate we see that we have two now we only want to be working with one so we're going to be working with this one and the polygroups are still there so if we scroll down to the geometry menu here we can see that we have a few options here but uh, we don't have to worry about these right now we have the the most important one is the one that says Dubai so that we can actually subdivide the model to uh, hundreds or thousands and millions of polygons to actually start the sculpting process now first of all you're going to see that you have this SMT which means that it's going to actually make the model smoother smoother than what it looks like if you disable that whenever you subdivide the model is going to be exactly this way it's not going to get a little more smooth it's going to stay this way so you, you want to make sure at this point that just leave it this way okay so if we hit subdivide once now we're at level 2 you saw you see that there's a there's a difference between level 2 and level 1 and you see now we are at actually 65,000 and if now we want to subdivide more than that of course now we're at the 200,000 level and one more time now we're at the 800,000 level we probably want to get to the millions here so now we're at 3 million polys here so that's uh, that's pretty high and uh, in this case it, it's actually enough although I mean my computer this computer is not the best so I'm going to leave it at 3, 3 million but if, if you have a really good computer I recommend that you go one more level it's probably going to be at the 10 million uh, 10 million polys but it, it shouldn't be a problem there so I'm going to leave it at the 3 million uh, polygons here and now in order to go back to lower subdivision levels you of course have the the slider here where you can uh, adjust the different subdivision levels and if it, it, if it doesn't look like there's anything happening you can still see here that the numbers change and I, I prefer to use the quick shortcut for it which is a uh, shift D if you press shift D you can see that uh, shift D one more time you can see that the number goes down and to go to the upper division levels just press D you see we go back to the to the million there if you accidentally press con press shift S instead of shift D you see that you get this and you probably don't want to do that you see that whenever you rotate in that uh, that's on the way it's technically at, uh, acting as a 2D image there of course it's getting on the way so that happens whenever you press shift S so if you want to go back to working with the without that uh, maybe you, if you undo that probably may solve the problem problem although sometimes it, it doesn't so I'm going to do it the this way if you go to document and you press new document 
and if you want to save changes I'm actually going to say no we get a new document here but uh, you may notice that the, the model is gone but at this point uh, you notice that draw is uh, enabled right now and our dinosaur is still here as a tool so if we as we did in the beginning we can left mouse click and drag and that get the dinosaur there make sure to click edit and now here's the dinosaur is back and our poly groups are still there so that shouldn't be a problem so that's the way to kind of troubleshoot whenever you accidentally hit shift s perhaps and you get that double uh, that extra 2d image of the model now another thing that you might want to do is increase your uh, number of undos that you can do within ZBrush you can do that if you go to preferences if you go here where it says mem memory and you have uh, different undos uh, here it's normally set to 4 but I find that that's a little too low so I set it set these two to like 12 or 13 maybe 14 and by the way every time you open ZBrush these are all going to be back to the uh, 4 so you might want to come back here and adjust those things and while we're here in the preferences you can if you're using a tablet you can change some of the settings here although I, I find that uh, using the the default settings uh, works works fairly decent okay so pretty much I think we covered uh, I've covered everything that I prep preparatory things uh, before we get into the sculpting uh, process here so at this point we're probably going to I'm going to let uh, start sculpting in the next video and show you the different brushes uh, different brushes that you can use to sculpt as well as alphas uh, and we're actually going to start uh, the sculpting process in the next video